I think it's time we had a look at satellite radio. This is the Sirius Stiletto 2 satellite system. Now this technology has come a long way since we looked at it a few years back. The Stiletto is one of the flagship products at Sirius and this kit that I have here is designed for car use. To be fair, much of satellite radio is designed around the automobile. But when I first looked at satellite radio, using your radio anywhere other than your car was a bit of an issue. Well, not anymore. This new radio is very well designed, making sure that your investment in a satellite subscription is well spent. So, with the Stiletto 2, we have here a device that looks very much like an MP3 player, and it's got a lot of the functions that an MP3 player has. It's our main interface for accessing the satellite radio, but it also has the ability to record onto it so that we can listen to music or listen to talk radio when we're not actually connected to the satellite system. So it's also a personal music player. That's a big benefit to this particular system system. Now with this kit that we have, it's designed for us to self-install it in our car and most of us will spend a lot of our time in our automobile listening to satellite music. That's one of the best places to have access to your satellite radio. So included in the car kit is, most importantly, your antenna. The radio itself is so small it doesn't have room for a built-in antenna, so it needs this exterior antenna that we plug into our car in order to access the satellites as you're driving. And it's designed to self-install. It's pretty easy to plug in, and it all leads into this little dock here, which we mount in our car. It's got the docking mechanism so that we can attach it to our car. And when the satellite radio is plugged into this dock, it's getting power from our power adapter. It also has all of our presets available to us so you don't have to navigate through menus as you're driving, making it a little bit safer. Now the dock itself looks a little bit like an iPod dock, the sort of thing you'd plug your iPod into, but this connector is very different than the iPod connector. You can't, you can't exchange between iPod peripherals and Sirius satellite radio peripherals. It doesn't work that way. Although most of the same peripherals are available, uh, you have home docks and other things available for this radio as well, but they don't exchange back and forth with the iPod. Now the other parts of this system include a remote control that you can use in your home, uh, if you're using it at home, if you have it plugged into a home dock, and there's also a car power adapter allowing you to charge and run the satellite radio. Now this is all great when you're inside the car. You can listen to your music to your heart's content, but what about when you get out and go for a walk? Well one option is of course recording any of your uh, radio channels onto the radio itself, or you can use these headphones which have ingeniously a built-in satellite antenna so your melon becomes your antenna and as you walk around beep 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 the satellite signal come in down the wire into the radio and into your ears for true listening pleasure. So really anytime you're outside at all you have great access to your satellite service but the real challenge came when you went inside and this is where those radios kind of fell short in their earlier versions for me is when I went into my house I couldn't see the satellite anymore I couldn't listen to my music and I was paying for a service. I could install an external antenna but then I'd have to plug into that and it just seemed like an awful lot of a hassle. Well they've changed all of that with this version because this version has access to internet radio. And internet radio, if I click on this, it's going to actually search for my wireless network that I have. And then in the studio we have one called D-Link. It's connecting to our D-Link network right now, so it's actually connecting to our Wi-Fi network. Now this greatly expands the places that we can use this service because now in your home or in your office, anywhere you have access to Wi-Fi, you can listen to the music that you're paying for. And that is great. And so now we have access to all the channels and there are dozens of channels available to us from every flavor of music through to sports, through to talk radio, through to comedy. You can listen to almost any sports team's play-by-play -play happening on it. Your selection of content is really broad when you look at satellites offering. Now this brings us to the whole issue of content. Looking at the difference between the radio here and your portable music player, normally an iPod. And a lot of people want to understand the balance between what the radio offers versus what an MP3 player or an iPod offers. Of course, with an iPod, most of your music is music that you own yourself that you've copied onto your iPod or you purchase online. And then you can also listen to podcasts. As you get a huge collection of music on your iPod, though, you realize that the big challenge that you face as an individual is putting together nice playlists of stuff that you want to listen to. All that responsibility is offloaded into the people programming the music at Sirius. So they, you choose the type of music you want to listen to. I like the blues. Well, they play blues all day long, and their programmers decide the songs that you're going to listen to. And overall, there's uh, certainly enough stations that you're going to find the type of music that you really like. So there's still a challenge that you're going to face deciding to invest your music dollars in an iPod or satellite radio. Personally, there's room in my life for both, and I switch back and forth a lot. I would hate 
to give up either. The Stiletto 2 series has made a really compelling tool that gives us access to their wonderful audio collection in a, now a wide variety of locations. It's easy to use, flexible, and entertaining. I guess when you're serious about what you do for a living, you come up with some serious answers.